bass are on points most of the year you can usually throw a lure up there and catch something oftentimes as anglers that's what we do we put a cast or two and then move on we're wanting those fish to be right up on top of that point in that place where they're going to be most aggressive well as anglers we're leaving so much out there so many fish that we aren't giving ourselves the chance to catch or put our lures in front of them points are such a diverse part of a lake some of them are very very narrow on the top on the ridge or that spine others are flat on top most points have a shallow side and a deep side some of them really taper a long ways out into the main lake others drop off pretty quick so we need to really spend some time on a point and break it down is there a different type of rock on it the size of rock is there chunk rock in one spot and pea gravel in another um, when you go down that main slope is there a brush pile down there or is there a big boulder down there maybe there's a dock suspended over the top of that point that can be really good casting shade down the length of that point but we want to give ourselves the opportunity to make more than just a couple casts because there's probably bass down there somewhere and we're trying to find really what it's about is that key depth are they at 10 feet are they 15 feet 25 feet and that is information once we figure that out that we can usually transfer to other parts of the lake. Another thing that we can do as anglers is get the boat shallow and cast deep and bring our lures back up the point. Bank anglers do this naturally. Well, when bass are trying to pin prey species like bait fish, they don't do it by driving them deep. They do it by driving them shallow between the surface of the water, the shoreline and the bottom all coming together. And when you present your lures that way, way that can kind of trigger that feeding instinct that say hey there's something going on here I've got a chance to pin this prey up here and eat it so definitely give that a try and make sure that you position yourself on points in relationship to the current I like to be on the down current side throwing it up into it and that could be natural current wind current current from boat wakes whatever it could possibly be but it definitely positions the fish and if for some reason you're not getting bit on those main lake points, and if you're on a bigger body of water or reservoir, don't forget hitting a few of those secondary points. So any point between the main lake and the back of a creek arm, those are all considered secondary points. Sometimes you'll find them on the third secondary point back or the fourth or the fifth. And that's also information that you can use to then fish other parts of the lake as well. And one of my favorite presentations for fishing points is definitely a Carolina rig. Well, if you'd like to watch a video that talks about leader length and the difference that leader length can make based on different bottom compositions, go ahead and check this one out right here. And make sure that you go out and encourage someone today. You never know how you might just change their life. For the Bass Fishing Life, I'm your host, Steve Rogers.